Today is uh, my daughter's wedding, uh, Carmilla. We've been anticipating this day for some time. We're very happy. Uh, she's our eldest girl. We're full of joy, we're full of happiness. I have three other children. Um, so we're all looking forward to this day. She's the first of four. Um, she was born while me and Asib we were very young ourselves. First, we were not sure about what her name was going to be. We weren't sure at all. And shortly after she was born, and everyone was giving name suggestions, and the book, the, we had the Islamic book of names open, and uh, the page was just open. And at the same time, we both just looked at the name. Nothing else was on the page, just Carmilla. And we just saw that, and we saw the meaning, meaning complete and perfect. And we both immediately at the same time said, this is who she is, she's Carmilla. She was an absolute joy, she never cried. She only cried when you fed her late. And that was like, five, if you were five minutes late, uh, with her with her meal, she would be crying and crying, but, but she was fine. As soon as she got the first few mouthfuls in, and she was back to being normal and fine. But she was, she would never cried. She wasn't shy. She would be happy to be passed around the room. And she just had a, such a good temperament as a baby. Uh, everybody doted on her, everybody loved her, everybody wanted to hold her. She was a cute, really, really milk white, chubby blonde kid with like yellow eyes. And um, she was just our, our apple of her eye. She always got what she wanted, not because she spoiled, but she was the only child in the house. But if she didn't, she always came to me or her grandma. When her brother came along, she was clearly the boss. Uh, and her brother was just always very placid and she would take his toys off him and give him the broken ones and he was perfectly fine with it so uh, they were a good they were a good match because he would just do as he was told she would decide to take his dummy out of his mouth and take his toys away and he was perfectly fine with it he would he wouldn't cry about it she's been uh, like a friend um, you know more than a just a sibling or elder sister you know growing up we would chat rubbish to each other all the time, uh, you know, have a look, have jokes all the time, bully our little sister, that was the best part. When I, when I was younger, we used to fight all the time, we used to argue, um, but we still love each other. <laughs> and um, now that she's gone older and that I've matured, we've become like really close. So it was a great, it was a great experience, a great time to see our youngest daughter at that time, uh, grow in front of our very eyes. So from that perspective, it's been great, uh, you know, we sit down, you know, it's not just a, a father and daughter um, experience, but it's also, there's a friendship there. We are extremely, extremely pleased with her personality, her way, she's very kind and gentle with other people. What can I say about Carmela? She's, she's special. Everyone told me that trying to find a wedding outfit is going to be one of the most stressful things. Um, and I literally just walked into a shop, went to, decided to go to Bradford, um, walked into a shop and saw this dress on the hand. I was like, oh, that's nice. I just tried it on and that was it. And I was like, okay, I like it. I might as well just 
put the order down, it's done and dusted. So in the first, I think, month it was of looking for a dress, I just, I, it just happened, really. It, I didn't have to stress about it. I just walked into a shop and it was there on a hanger. It was like it was waiting for me. Along the way, there have been some hiccups with the venue, with the cottage, with all of that. So I only found out that we didn't actually have the cottage about two weeks ago, three weeks ago. So I'm glad I kind of brought the topic up because I would have turned up today with nowhere to get ready. So, uh, but these things happen. Everyone's told me it's a part and parcel of the wedding process and expect for things to go wrong. But there's been more, more positive it's been po more positive than it has been negative. It's all been wild. From the, from the moment it was announced to today, even up till right now, girls take 10 hours getting ready. You know, I got ready in 10 minutes. It's just one of those things. It's, it's a daunting experience because it's the first one in the family. But you know, it's, there's, been, there's been stresses, there's been uh, you know, <laughs> all that stuff as it's expected. But you know, we're almost there. My mum has, has been running around everywhere, very old in Bradford, she's been doing everything. I've, I've been busy, don't get me wrong, I've been running around doing the, uh, taking care of the, the, the male side of the family. Um, a lot of the, the more, you know, the, the logistics side of things, um, although everybody's been involved. I think the organising was more about what we're going to wear and all of that for us and it's been really really hectic and crazy so we've all just kind of um, been stepping on each other's toes a little bit around it and then we're all mad. at the end of it we all come back and go okay it's the first wedding in the family obviously it's supposed to be stressful generally speaking i think i'd say uh 70 30 70 for the women and 30 on my side. He probably did 10% and I did 90. <laughs> no, no. This is Awais, Mohammed Awais. And uh, yeah, so I was a little late this morning because I had to give him a shower, give him a bit of a shave, get his clothes on. He had his brekkie and so he's all right now. He's, uh, he's ready to go. I'm just relieved that we're here today and it's, it's, uh, it's, it's going to go to plan and we can formally see all our friends and family. We're looking forward to that so everybody can join in our happiness with us.
Yeah, Alhamdulillah, today is my wedding day and uh, emotions up and down everywhere. Um, obviously, started off walking in, my kind of my nerves kind of um, were, went down a little bit as they uh, as they all started dancing. The spotlight became on them, so I felt kind of calm as we got, as we walked in, sat down. Yeah, and everything was went was fine from then. You know what, you can either go terribly wrong or, t or extremely right. I don't, either I'm going to walk in and I'm going to bawl my eyes out <laughs> or I'm going to walk in and I'm just going to be dead jolly and happy and smiling. I do want to thank my mum first because although we've had our ups and downs and it's been really difficult, um, I'm going to cry. I think sometimes it's easy to um, forget what your parents do, but you include it, especially your mum. Um, so although sometimes I'm not very good with showing emotion and I don't like to cry because I feel really weird, um, I want to say thanks to my mum for everything that she's, all the effort that she's put into it um, and how she's just always put everybody else first before, before her own self. Um, I'm hoping that when I walk in I can keep calm and collected. But yeah, we'll see. We've had lots of laughs, lots of great, great times, um, lots of parties, lots of heart-to-hearts, lots of banter between each other. When she first told me, I just, I wasn't worried, I wasn't nervous, I just knew that she'd be happy for the rest of her life and I hope she is, inshallah. She is really fussy, so I'd be patient at all times. Um, if, she does, if, if she is having a little bit of a strop, just don't say anything, just stay quiet and let her get it all out of her chest. And then... My God, where do I start with you, Cam? Adab, summer camp, wanting to use your flipping Crayola felt tip pens that you wouldn't let my sister use, but you let me use them. You're kind, you're giving, you're generous. I think you've always put everybody else before you, and that's probably the best quality that you can have as a person. Farhan's going to have to watch his back a little bit. <laughs> um, yeah, she's not one that you can rule over too much. Well, Farhan and Mana, um, it's going really well. Uh, my sister looks amazing, mashallah. The house is already quiet anyway because Carmen's at work, she comes back late. But it's going to be it's gonna be extra quiet now because I can't annoy anyone. Normally when Carmen would come home, I'd annoy her, you know, crack my corny jokes. <laughs> كاميلا درستك الادب كنت تلميذه نشيطه وشاطره وقد تعلمت الادب من خلال الثقافه فكنت كلك انسانيه وقد طرحنا مواضيع ودرسنا مواضيع كثيره في الادب اتمنى لك كل السعاده مع شريك حياتك الان وأتمنى أن نراك في المستقبل القريب في الجامعة وربما ممكن أن ترجع لدراسة الأدب مرة ثانية في الجامعة وشكرا لك وأتمنى لك كل السعادة كاميلا it was lovely um, being your tutor I really enjoyed every minute teaching you and guiding you when you were on your period abroad and when you did your dissertation and when you came back to work with us um, I hope in the future you can still come back and work with us. Certainly you're more than welcome to attend any time. And for me, personally, it was lovely. First of all, your dad was one of our students. 
and then you came along and you're all a lovely family and see it now ex expanding and you're getting married to Farhan and I hope to see your children soon I sound like your mom now um, but it's lovely to see how you've grown and matured and see such a lovely young lady here and thank you for inviting us both to share your lovely happy day. Mabrook or Aqbalil Benin or Aqbal and Shufek with the Najahat Akhtar. We used to have a lot of fun while we were kids. I used to beat her up, she used to jump on me from the bunk bed and try and fight me all the time. And uh, it's just funny seeing, you know, those kids who used to run around, mess around, and now we're all mature. And, uh, and just again, I wish you all the best. I wish you all the best, can you? Well, mashallah, it's been a fantastic day. Uh, wish them all the best. Uh, we're looking forward to all the new good events coming. Um, everything has gone really nicely. And yeah, I'm really happy for both of them. Mashallah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant them happiness and um, blessings. I think it's going to be absolutely amazing. I think uh, the happiness and uh, sort of uh, that sort of ronak, I would say, in the Urdu language that Kamala brings, I think it will be really amazing. I think it's to sort of fulfill uh, that happiness in our in our household. And you know, that sort of void that was there, it will be, it will be filled in, inshallah. out how I like it. I think it's going to be an emotional one. We will just miss that she's not in the house. Keep a cool head, be understanding, listen, you know, and uh, that's it really. She's, see, she's, seen, she's seen how, you know, balancing work and home life, we've been through that with her, so she, she can see that. I'd say be happy, uh, take care of one another, uh, respect each other's opinions, enjoy your new family as well, enjoy living with Farhan's family. Eight, nine, ten. Welcome. Kala Do I look uncomfortable? Yeah, uncomfortable. I look uncomfortable. Yeah, right. I look old. <laughs> um, how smoothly it's gone. Um, and now we're here in Thornton Manor enjoying it. Um, <laughs> cool. I'll say something. Yeah. All right. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, hi, I'm Latifa. Um, it's my sister's wedding today, Carmela. And uh, <laughs> don't know what to say. <laughs> um, we're at Thornton Manor. Um, it's going really well. Um, my sister looks amazing, mashallah. Um, I'm just waiting to get a picture with her. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> no idea what to say. Got some questions. Why are you behind me? Come on, baby. How should I say it? I don't know how to say it. I think I'm done. <laughs> don't know what else to say. <laughs> Just about made it on time. Actually, Carmilla rang me and she'd, she'd left something in the car, in the car that I was coming in. 
and I was about 50 minutes out and I was thinking, oh my god, you guys need to take photographs. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, just off the record, uh, I came in pretty quick. <laughs> I do feel a little bit sorry for her though that she's going to be having to go oh, get up and do chores but that doesn't mean for hands I'm going to do his chores because he's told me he's told me he can cook and he's uh, he's been following some TV recipes well there could be small things like she probably obviously not aware of or not aware about and some small little habits here and there obviously we're gonna have to um, you know, like, kind of joke about with her as well, <laughs> make her laugh. So, obviously, part of the wedding is obviously saying goodbye, mm. um, you know, at the end. Yeah. Um, so, you know, how do you feel about, you know, obviously, you're starting a new life, obviously, yeah. you know, new family and husband and stuff. So, um, you know, just talk a bit about your emotions going into, you know. Okay. Things. First thing that comes to mind is I'm going to miss my cats. <laughs> Okay, I've got two cats, Simba and Mez, and um, I had all sorts of plans like to have them in their little boxes and bring them, but I just don't think that would work. Um, but I'm going to miss my cats, That's, I'll just be honest. I'm... <laughs> it's not going too well, is it? He's walked out, but he's just gone overhead. <laughs> Go on, the it all. Shut the door behind you. Right, make sure you don't overfeed him. We want him to stay kind of on the slender side rather than the other side, you know. Kind of keep it more towards this side rather than, you know, the overweight side. Yeah, don't, no, to not too much butterfees and gulab jamans and rotina and salmon and go a little easy on that, more of the grilled stuff. <clears throat> So that's my conclusion. He's <laughs> right in my face, <laughs> yeah. he's right in there, you know. Yeah, no, it's a beautiful, lovely event. Yeah, you finally changed your seat. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah okay. Look at that, yeah, I've got it on again, mate. Eh? He'll come back on again. He'll come back on again. It looks awesome, though. Yeah, do you like it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go up now. From me and the waist, Cameron. Uh, I'm hoping you the best. I wish them both all the best for throughout their lives. Very happy for them, Rachel, and we're very happy as well. Amari, do I don't look sad? Let's just talk, let's just... Let's go off the top. Okay, 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 come on. All right, you've got two um, minutes. Right. So basically, this is my new sister-in-law, my baby sister, I love her. I so much. <laughs> it feels so weird on the spot. It was just so natural, the day I seen you, it was like... Oh. Basically, thanks everyone for coming, and... It's been amazing. Yeah? Yay. It's been amazing. Yay.